Greetings to all. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Myself Sanjita Sanan, a first year law student from Galgotias University and currently working as a legal intern at Lexis and Company. So today I'm here to talk about the Personal Data Protection Bill of 2019. So the Personal Data Protection Bill of 2019 was introduced in Lok Sabha by the Minister of Electronics and Information Technology on 11th of December 2019. So the purpose of this bill is to provide for protection of privacy of individuals relating to their personal data and to establish a data protection authority of India for the set purposes and the matters concerning the personal data of an individual. The bill proposes to superset the Information Technology Act of 2000 deleting the provisions related to compensation payable by companies for failure to protect personal data the ptpb inter alia prescribes the manner in which personal data is to be collected processed used disclosed stored and transferred the ptpb proposes to protect personal data relating to the identity characteristic trait attribute of a natural person and sensitive personal data such as financial data health data official identifier sexual orientation biometric data genetic data transgender status intersex status caste or tribe religious or political beliefs so what is the applicability of this bill the pdpb proposes to apply to the processing of personal data that has been collected disclosed shared or otherwise processed within the territory of india by the government any indian company any citizen of india or any person or body of persons incorporated in india and second that is foreign companies dealing with personal data of individuals in india now what are the obligations of data fiduciary the processing of personal data will be subject to certain purpose collection and storage limitations such as for specific clear and lawful purpose then collection of personal data shall be limited to such data that is necessary for the uh, for the purposes of processing notice is required to be given to the individual or data principal for collection or processing of personal data personal data shall be retained only for the purpose for which it is processed and shall be deleted at the end of the processing consent is required to be taken from the data principal at the commencement of the data processing in addition the data fiduciaries must undertake certain transparency and accountability measures such as prepare privacy policy then take necessary steps to maintain transparency in processing personal data implementing security safeguards inform authority by notice breach of any personal data audit its policies and conduct of policies every year undertake data impact assessment where significant data fiduciary undertakes data processing that involves new technologies or sensitive personal data institute institute grievance redressal mechanisms to address complaints of individuals then is processing of personal data without consent The bill proposes processing of data by fiduciaries only if consent is provided by the individual. There are certain exceptions provided under which personal data can be processed without consent, such as if required by the state for providing benefits to the individual, second is legal proceedings, third to respond to a medical emergency, fourth is employment related. fifth is necessary for reasonable purposes such as prevention of fraud mergers and acquisitions recovery of debt etc then the rights of an individual or data principal so the bill sets out certain rights of the individual which includes the right to first of all obtain confirmation from the fiduciary on whether their personal data has been processed second seek correction of inaccurate incomplete or update personal data data portability have personal data referred to any other data fiduciary in certain circumstances and the right to be forgotten restrict continuing disclosure of their personal data by a fiduciary if it is no longer necessary or consent is withdrawn data protection authority 
the bill proposes a data protection authority of india which shall take steps to protect interest of individuals prevent misuse of personal data and ensure compliance with the bill and promote awareness about data protection orders of the authority can be appealed to an appellate tribunal appeals against the order of the tribunal can be filed at the uh, supreme court pursuant to the pdpb being enacted into an act there are several compliances to be followed by organizations processing personal data in order to ensure protection of privacy of individuals relating to their personal data consent of the individual would be required for processing of personal data based on the type of personal data being processed organizations will then have to review and update data protection policies codes to ensure these are consistent with the revised principles such as update their internal breach notification procedures implement appropriate technical and organizational measures to prevent misuse of data data protection officer to be appointed by the significant data fiduciary and instituting grievance redressal mechanisms to address complaints by individuals so this was all about the personal data protection bill of 2019 thank you so much for devoting your time and listening to my video if you really liked it then please like share and comment and do subscribe to our youtube channel lexclick for more upcoming such videos thank you so much and have a nice day